As the World Cup quickly approaches, the European leagues are finishing up play this season, which of course means we need to talk some football with the one and only Tim Krause. And Tim, let's start with Manchester United. After such a great season last year, running away with the English Premier League, their worst season, their worst finish since 1990. How did they get better? So they finished sixth this year, as you said, worst season since 1990. They fired David Moyes. They are now bringing in Louis van Gaal, expected to be announced later this week as their new manager. And he needs to make several signings if the team wants to compete next year. Listen, strikers, they're fine. Wayne Rooney, Robin Van Persie, yeah, they're, they're good, fine. They're good. Attacking <laughs> midfield, I think they're okay too because you have Juan Matas and Chicagawa. You have on the bench people like Ashley Young and Antonio Valencia. They may want to bring one in more for depth, but I think they're fine. It, now we're going to go into the part where they're really going to struggle. Holding midfield, they need two players and they need an entire new defense. Right now their defense is right back Phil Jones, who's been ineffective. Their center back, they have a trio of um, Vidic, who signed a pre-contract with Inter. He's gone. Rio Ferdinand, who's 35, and Chris Smalling, who just can't play soccer anymore. Yeah, they, and then at left back, they have Patrice Ever, who's old, so they need an entire I mean, It's clear Man you need to make some updates, which is crazy because they literally yeah. had the same team as they had last year, and they were just really bad this year. All right, let's look to Spain. La Liga, the finish of the season is really getting crazy with Atletico Madrid at the top right, top right now, Barcelona in second, and Real in third. Who comes out on top? Okay, so let me just explain the standings quickly. You have in first, Atletico Madrid, 88 points, two matches left. Second, Barcelona, 85 points, two matches left. Third place, Real Madrid, 83 points, three matches left. I don't see a team losing until the final day of the season where Atletico Madrid plays Barcelona. So each of those teams has a chance to win the championship on the last day. If Atletico Madrid draws or wins against Barcelona, they're champions. If they lose and Real Madrid wins, Real Madrid's champions. Wow. And if Barcelona beats Atletico and Madrid loses points, Barcelona's champions. I don't think Atletico Madrid is going to win against Barcelona at the new Camp, so I think Real Madrid steals it on the final day of the season. All right, well, you said Real Madrid in that game. Now we're going to stick in Spain for the Champions League final, which yeah. happened to be a battle of Madrid with Atletico Madrid versus Real Madrid. Who you got? Call me consistent, but I'm going to go with Real Madrid. You look at this team. They are the greatest team in the history of the world. They have won nine European Cups, more than anyone else. And they haven't won one since 2002, so they've waited 12 years. They've played in four semifinals, haven't made it back to the final until now. This is a team that is obsessed with their 10th trophy. They want to win La Decima, and I think they're going to do it this year. You have the best offense in the world versus one of the best defenses in the world. So it's going to be a tight game, so a player or two are going to need to step up. And I think Real Madrid have more candidates with Cristiano Ronaldo, Gareth Bale, and um, Karim Ben than Atletico Madrid do with Diego Costa. I'm picking Madrid. Well, you, yeah. better, you better hope Real Madrid shows up these next couple weeks. Yeah. You're going to be looking foolish next <laughs> exactly. time. Exactly. Coming up next, Jake and I discuss some of the oldest sports in America and determine which one will soon become extinct. 